Our next item is a presentation regarding the schematic design for the replacement of Haltom and Richland Middle Schools in the 2018 bond program. I've seen Irene Gaglioni's coming forward. Katie, do you have any introduction to this? Uh, we welcome uh, Irene tonight, and uh, I think you're going to like uh, the presentation that she's put together. Thank you, Irene. Go ahead. Thank you, uh, President Davis, members of the board, and Dr. Brown. Thank you for the opportunity to be here tonight to present to you the conclusion of schematic design for the new Halton Middle School and Richland Middle School. We've been meeting a lot since we saw you last month and continuing to refine the design to make sure that these two buildings are tailored 100% to your needs today. We'll start with Richland Middle School. As you know, the existing campus located at the corner of Hovenkamp and Norton with the athletic field uh, closer to Lavity, as we presented last month. Our new building will be flipped over, so it will be located over the football field and the track. And on this piece of property, as we mentioned, we have a little bit of extra room, so we have the opportunity to set the building back a little bit further from the street, so it will have a little bit more of a scale reference to the houses that are across the street from it. Uh, we will have, again, the visitor parking will come in off of Bridges Avenue. This is a parent drop-off, and just if you start at this location and go all the way around, to here, you can stack 35 cars, and continuing all the way down, that will make 50 cars that you can st stack. And Mr. Tolbert brought this up the last time, there will be two lanes. So if somebody's dropping off, somebody can pull out around them and doesn't have to wait till that person leaves. So there will be two lanes to let people out so that the traffic will continue to flow. So in essence, you can actually stack 100 cars on this driveway at any point in time. So we're trying to, again, minimize the effect on the neighborhood. Um, we have a little bus loading area that we pulled off of a bridges, and this is really for band. The band rooms are in this location, and, and this would serve for after hours when they're coming back from events or when they're loading to go to events as well. Buses will come up a hub and camp and be able to stack, and there will be a canopy in the rear of the building that will let build, uh, students directly into the cafeteria area. Students that are coming into athletics can also come in through this back entrance in the morning, some of the students that get dropped off early and obviously staff parking will be located in the back. And as I mentioned before, this campus will have 20% more parking than North Richland Middle School has. So for events, it will have that opportunity. Competition track and field will be built once the school is demolished and over the existing campus. And as you can see, we have the um, uh, track and field events as well as bleachers on both sides of the, of the football field. Phase one, as I mentioned, we'll be able to build this building while maintaining the existing campus and all the portables operational. So once the building is complete, we will be tearing down the existing middle school and continuing the construction of the fields. The floor plan of this building bears similarities to North Richland Middle School with the modifications and tweaks that we have made through the meetings with all the staff. So you'll be coming into the front with administration immediately flanking the main entry. Uh, you'll have an entry commons that looks towards the library, and then we'll have the classroom wings, which will have, we're labeling it eighth grade wing, but they're, all the classroom wings are identical, so it could be sixth grade, it could be seventh grade, so the principals will have the freedom to divide the building as needed. The other side, they'll have some of the special education, art, CTE, and some of the electives. And then you'll have your louder activity source about back, cafeteria, stage, and drama, Choir and band, which as we mentioned before, will be serving as our storm shelter for this building, and then the gymnasia and the locker spaces. So again, on the first floor, this could be the library. This is one of the differences between North Richland Middle and this campus is the fact that science is now integrated into the wings. So you will have full grade wings that have all the different um, language arts, social studies, math, and science all together each one of them with uh, a departmental workroom, staff restroom, and their own restrooms. And then this is the area that will be locked off. So in the case of an emergency, those doors will lock off. And the gym and athletics is very similar to what we saw at um, uh, North Richland Middle School. Uh, the gyms will be the same. The biggest difference, and this also was raised last time, is the fact that the boys' showers we have divided up, so those will have curtains. So there won't be um, the big open spaces, but there will be actually be individual showers for the students as well as the girls. 
Uh, one of the other things that I failed to mention, I go back, yeah. Um, we're also adding an individual uh, shower restroom at each one of them as well. In the cafeteria, uh, we have the, the dining area, which resembles uh, North Thurston Middle, with the kitchen flanking it, and then the platform and black box, which serve allow for two um, teaching spaces to be used uh, at the, the, with, the, with the folding wall in between them. Um, the resource wing and CTE includes the two college and careers and engineering uh, technology labs, um, some of the special ed programs that access enable art classrooms, as well as some of the intervention classrooms. And these rooms will be configured in a way so that they can be used as regular classrooms as well, so it gives flexibility to the campus. We also have the centralized assistant principals and counselors so that they will be at each of the wings, so each one of the student wings will have assistant principals and counselors uh, located next to them. Fine art, uh, the biggest change is that we've added a second restroom and we've increased the storage room in this area. This is something that was, was raised in North Richmond middle, middle as a need. And then that mechanical room that you see in the back is a control room for the storm shelter, which this whole space will become for the campus. Second floor, again, classroom wings are gonna be similar to what you saw on the first floor. And as you can see, we have a assistant principal and counselor suite in the middle of the building, as well as the PLC room for staff to uh, go have their meetings. And we located in the second floor centralized to where most of the teachers are. And the seventh grade wing, again, similar to the other ones. As you can tell, we plan for four uh, specialized special education classrooms in this campus. Uh, the demographics show that that might be the need, but if not, each one of these classrooms can be used as a regular classroom. This is a rendering of the exterior we saw the last time. This is similar. We've progressed a little bit, adding some more um, texture and trying to tie into some of the materials from the neighborhood so that the building will blend into the context in, with, in which it is found. Inside of the building, this is a view coming in the entrance and looking towards the library and the makerspace. Um, as you recall, at North Twitch and Middle, that is only defined on the first floor. We've tried to define that space in both floors so that it kind of becomes the heart of the building where kids are gonna be working and tinkering and creating. And this is inside the library, looking back towards that makerspace and that entry stage. And as you can see, we brought in some of the exterior material inside to warm the building up and to give it to, again, a reference to the context. Moving to Haltom Middle School. Um, Haltom, the current school located at the corner of Hires and Friendly, uh, with a severely dropping site and a large number of portables right next to where the uh, athletic field is. As we mentioned before, we're going to have to relocate portables this summer in order to start construction. So we've made accommodations. As a matter of fact, we have a follow-up meeting on Monday to identify the portables we're moving. But we will be relocating those to this corner of the site during construction. So that way they will be out of the way through the whole construction process. The new building will uh, face Hadley Street. And again, it has the same length of a drop-off as it had before for parents. One big change that we made, thanks to Mr. Dilks, is we relocated the bus loop access to uh, to come off the north, so that way it will not um, create conflict with parents coming on Hadley. Um, and then we have the competition field, so students coming from the locker rooms to the fields will walk around the parking lot to come this way to the to to use the fields. Um, it's phasing uh, for this campus, is, it's a little bit more difficult. So we'll be building the building. We'll really literally shoehorn the building right next to the existing campus. We do have the property across the street where we will relocate the football field so that they have it during, um, for this school year. And uh, as I mentioned, we're gonna be relocating portables to the corner of Hadley and Friendly. This building, uh, it's a departure from North Richland Middle School uh, in order to best fit that site. So you'll come in the front and administration immediately off the right, library in the center, the heart of the building. Again, we like to see educational items when you come into the building. And then the eighth grade wing, or again, sixth or seventh, your specials, uh, art, special education, CTE. 
cafeteria a little further out, creating a courtyard outside the cafeteria, and then out, outside the library, a secondary courtyard as well. And then the athletic areas, the gymnasia and locker rooms are very similar to North Richland Middle. And then the, the music, the biggest difference here is now that the music spaces are right behind the drama and stage, so they can serve also as uh, green rooms during performances in, in the campus. Second floor has sixth grade wing, seventh grade wing, again, very similar, science labs, classrooms, administration in the center, APs and principals, and some special education spaces. First floor has the administration with the entry vestibule and reception and some of the same uh, spaces that we had provided before in the classroom wings with the large collaboration areas. One of the things I do want to point out, and I, may, I miss, uh, mentioned that at um, Richland, if you can see from the classrooms, there will be double doors into the collaboration area. If you recall, North Richland Middle has a glass window into that space. Um, through conversations with everybody, if we open up that space more, that space will be articulated more, and that way there'll be opportunities for students to work out in groups in that space, maximizing your what would be usually your hallway space or now collaboration spaces. So anytime you walk through this building, uh, you should see a lot of activity and a lot of student learning taking place in those spaces. Dining hall, uh, uh, cafeteria very similar, uh, kitchen serving at service yard to the back of it, and then uh, the platform and the black box or the stage of the platform uh, and the back black box right next to it. Um, the special ed CTE and electives wing, uh, similar to Richland, but with the AP counselor suite, the two able and access classroom, art with storage, CTE labs, and then the intervention rooms as well. Ban Hall, the, the layout is exactly the same as at Richland. We just turned it around to be right behind the black box. Uh, but again, this is also the storm shelter for this campus. The learning commons in the center, a different shape than what we had seen before, but we still maintain the maker space in the corner because we want this to be the focus. And then we have a computer lab that's directly off of it so that it can be used by the library or can be used by the campus. Athletics, like I mentioned, the same changes that we made before where the showers will have the, the, the curtains for both boys and girls. And then sixth grade wing, uh, similar to the other one. Seventh grade uh, and special ed, there's uh, again the two able and past classrooms that are in the campus. So four total spaces as well as uh, content mastery and resource classrooms that are sprinklered throughout. Um, and the look of the exterior of Haltom changed a little bit from when we were here the last time. Uh, if you recall, we had a much more contemporary image to the, uh, to the building, a contemporary look. Uh, as we met with folks, it was decided that we wanted to blend in a little bit more to the neighborhood. So we still have something that we consider to be contemporary and different, but it brings in some of the materials and the coloring from the neighborhood. So it becomes a much more um, a neighbor to all the houses that surround us. So this would be the main entry. It has a lower canopy again, which is one of the things that we wanted to do different than North Richland, bring a, bring a canopy out so students can take shelter in uh, days of where it's raining. And one of the other differences is um, we're bringing in a little bit of a lighter uh, materiality to this campus based on the co context in which it sits. Coming in the building, this is a view looking towards the front. This here are the front doors of the building. So this is the library and the maker space to the right. And these are just uh, the stairs that go to the second floor as well as we're carving out spaces throughout the building for small group learning and activities to take place. And this is the view inside the library looking again, th that's that hallway that we just talked about towards the front maker space and then the circulation desk in the library. You'll be able to look into the library from the second floor from this classroom that is provided upstairs. Schedule wise, we're here today to present schematic design. Uh, we will be moving on tomorrow to the design de development phase and we will be back to you in two months to present that. By then we will have refined all systems of the building and we'll have a better understanding of exact area to the building. We'll complete our construction documents by September so that we can bid and be back here to you on October 24th with proposals uh, and start construction October 25th to complete May 31st of 2021 
and then start the demolition, the asbestos uh, abatement, and everything else on the campuses to complete these campuses completely by December 1st of 2021. Uh, budget, we are, uh, we are feeling comfortable about the budget for these campuses. As you know, Richland is for 800, Haltom is for 1,000. Uh, we've been vetting the square footage of the building and the inclusions against those for which we budgeted in, in the bond and we are below those allocations. With that, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Questions for Irene. Thank you for a great presentation. Thank you. A lot of things, exciting things can be happening there. Mr. Kunkel. What was the capacity at North Richland? Was it a thousand? It's a thousand. Okay. Other questions, Mr. McCarty. Uh, if we are a favorable to budget, is is there any reason or thought that we would want to make Richland a, a little larger capacity than eight hundred? I mean, I'm throwing that out in the eighth inning or whatever here, but um, what's, there the, is what's the current population at Richland Middle? already bigger so the the core spaces gym cafeteria uh, band library everything has been sized for a thousand oh, so okay. all the core spaces are sized for a thousand so if you did decide at any point to add it's just a matter of adding classrooms uh, yeah you would be adding eight classrooms to the building how many eight, eight. How difficult is that to design as an alternate? Uh, not difficult at all. We can make that happen. I mean, if we find out that we can add those eight classrooms for a very small extra component, why not? Dr. Brown. Yeah, we can look back uh, at the numbers. There, there's uh, the factor that's changed the last uh, several years, as y'all probably know. Uh, as far as numbers are a lot less now than they were five years ago, the uncertainty of the changes that are coming with choices that kids have. So we're from the maximum of students we've ever had in my tenure here, we're down a thousand students. We've been up almost to 24,600 and we're below 23,500 now. Uh, that's that's a, uh, a neighborhood that uh, demographers have not uh, targeted as a high growth. Uh, there may be some turnover in long years when a lot of the, the baby boomers, you know, have retired out of there and families moved in. But we've got some targeted areas. Richland Hills is not one of them that's targeted in the near future uh, to have a lot of growth in it. Skip, what's our um, population at Halton Middle right now? <clears throat> just around uh, 890, right, at, right just under shade under 900. And um, I see what you're doing with athletics at Halton Middle. Is there anything we can do at Richland Middle for that year that we're building? I think they're going to be using Burville Stadium. It'll, it'll be two, two, two mm -hmm. years. They will be using the Burville Stadium. Mm -hmm. Okay. I Saint, just... Richland, North Richland had luckily the high school close by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It'll be inconvenience for two years. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's and I'm, I'm sorry, Richland, uh, excuse me, uh, Halton Middle is currently at 918. 918. So we're on target there for the 1,000 for sure. And uh, Richland's at currently at 717. 